what is a dipole moment obtain expression for the potential and field due to an electric dipole we will define dipole dipole moment electric field due to dipole moment and potential due to dipole moment we will derive the mathematical expression and equations for electric field due to dipole moment and the potential due to dipole moment what is a dipole dipole is a pair of equal but opposite charges separated by distance d dipole moment dipole moment is defined as the mathematical product of the separation of the end of a dipole and the magnitude of the charges mathematically dipole moment can be written as p is equal to q d where q is the charge and d is the distance of separation between the two charges or between the two poles dipole is a vector quantity and the direction of dipole is taken from negative to positive end of the dipole we will determine the electric field due to dipole and the potential at a point p due to dipole electric field e electric field is a region around a charged particle or object within which a force would be exerted on other charged particle or objects electric field due to a point charge is given by this relation e is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square r unit vector here in this diagram this plus represent the charge and these outward lines represent the direction of electric field the electric field e and coulomb force f is related by the relation f is equal to q naught e this f is the coulomb force q naught is the test charge and e is the electric field now we will determine the electric field at point p due to an electric dipole here this diagram represent the electric dipole between two charges this is charge plus q and this is charge minus q the distance of separation between these two charges is d we will determine the electric field at a point p the distance between point p and negative charge is represented by r minus while the distance between positive charge and point p is represented by r plus where this z is the distance from the midpoint of these two charges to point p now the electric field at point p due to this positive charge will be equal to e plus and the electric field at this point due to this negative charge will be equal to e minus and the total electric field at this point p will be equal to the sum of electric field due to positive charge and negative charge now we know that the electric field at a point due to a point charge is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square this is a positive charge so the e plus is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught plus q by r square now the second charge is negative or minus so the electric field due to this second charge is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught minus q by r minus square now multiplying this plus to this minus we will get 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square minus 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q by r minus square now this q and 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught is constant term so taking this whole term common from this equation we will have 1 over r plus whole square minus 1 over r minus whole square now from this diagram we know that the r plus is equal to z minus 1 over 2d this is the r plus and this is the z so and this distance from here to here is 1 over 2d so z minus 1 over 2d is equal to r plus where r minus is equal to z plus 1 over 2d this z plus this 1 over 2d 
distance. So R minus is equal to Z plus 1 over 2 D. Now substituting the values for R plus and R minus in this equation, we will get electric field E is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 over Z minus 1 over 2 D whole square minus 1 over Z plus 1 over 2 D whole square. Now taking the Z square common from this term and as well as from this term. We will have a new equation electric field E is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 over Z square into 1 minus 1 over 2 Z D whole square minus 1 over Z square into 1 plus 1 over 2 Z D whole square. Now take this 1 over Z square common from this whole term and we will have this new term. Now taking the LCM of this term we will have this new term E is equal to K1 over Z square into 1 plus 1 over 2 Z D whole square minus into 1 minus 1 over 2 Z D whole square divided by 1 minus 1 over 2 Z D whole square into 1 plus 1 over 2 Z D whole square. Now expanding this equation this upper and lower part of the equation with the help of these two formulas. These are the basic physics formulas. One is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. This is a and this is b whole square minus into a minus b whole square. And this is a minus b into a plus b. Now, expanding this upper part, this one is a plus b whole square while this one is a minus b whole square. So, we will get a minus sign here. Now expanding this first term, we will have 1 square equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 z d 1 over 2 z d whole square plus 2, this is 2 a b term, 2 into 1 over 2 z d into 1. So we do not need to write 1. Minus into 1 plus 1 over 2 z d whole square minus 2 into 1 over 2 z d. This minus is due to this sign is minus. And this below term is a minus b into a plus b whole square. Now multiplying this minus sign to this part of the equation, this plus 1 will become minus 1. This plus 1 over 2 z d whole square will become minus 1 over 2 z d whole square. And this minus into minus will become plus. This one will cancel out with this minus 1. This 1 over 2 zd whole square will cancel out with this minus 1 over 2 zd whole square and this minus will become plus. So this term will add up with this term. This 2 will cancel with this 2. Similarly this 2 will cancel with this 2. We will have 1 over zd plus 1 over zd which is equal to 2 into 1 over zd. Z into d. This denominator is a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. So 1 square is equal to 1 minus into d by 2z square and whole square. This whole square is because of this square. Now further simplifying this equation we can write this in this form q by 2 pi epsilon naught because this 2 will cancel with this 4 and we will be left with 2. q by 2 pi epsilon naught 1 over z cube into d divided by 1 minus d by 2 z square whole square. Now we can multiply this q with d and Further rearranging this equation, we can write it as electric field E is equal to 1 over 2 pi epsilon naught z cube into q d divided by 1 minus d by 2 z whole square into whole square. Now, what if z is much much greater than d? This is d and we know that this z is much much greater than this uh, distance of separation between these two charges. When this z is much much greater then we will got here infinity, infinite and dividing this d by this infinite we will get 0 and 0 square 0, 1 minus 0 is equal to 
वन सो वी विल हैव इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ई इज इक्वल टू क्यू डी डिवाइडेड बाई टू बाई एप्सला नॉट जेड क्यू एंड दिस टर्म क्यू डी इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ चार्ज एंड डिस्टेंस डी सेपरेशन बिटवीन दो चार्जेस इज द इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल पी सो वी कैन राइट इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल पी इज इक्वल टू क्यू डी एंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू डायपोल इज इक्वल टू क्यू डी डिवाइडेड बाई टू पाई एप्सन ऑन नॉट जेड क्यूब एंड जेड इज द डिस्टेंस ऑफ सेपरेशन फ्रॉम दिस मिड पॉइंट टू द पॉइंट पी Thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and comment your questions